Hi, welcome to this presentation about the micturition reflex. At the end of this short presentation, you should be able to define the term micturition. Number two, explain the micturition reflex and also explain the control of micturition. Let us look at the definition. Micturition is the periodic process of emptying the urinary bladder. And this is also called as voiding of urine. There are two processes involved. One is a progressive filling of the bladder until the pressure rises to uh, the critical value followed by a neuronal reflex called the micturition reflex which empties the bladder. The reflex stimulus is the distension of the bladder with the filling of urine that will stimulate the stretch receptors roughly around 300 to 400 milliliters of urine. And this information is carried along the sensory fibers to the pelvic, through the pelvic nerves into the sacral segments S2, 3 and S4. The efferent or the motor part of the component is carried along the parasympathetic or the motor fibers to the bladder. Along with this, Reflex also has to take care of the external sphincter which is supplied by the pudental nerve and inhibition of this leads to relaxation of the sphincter. The effector is the tetrasur muscle of the bladder wall. With the relaxation of both the internal and external sphincters leads to the voiding of urine. In adults, the volume of urine that is that initiates the reflex contraction is about 300 to 400 milliliters. There is the reflex control, which is done by the higher control system, a facilitatory area in the pontine region and inhibitory area in the midbrain. Efferent impulses coming from the brain suppresses the reflex, which is called as a learned reflex, until a decision is made to relax the external sphincter using voluntary nerves. Voiding with, begins with relaxation of the external sphincter. Voluntary contraction of the abdominal muscles helps the expulsion of urine by increasing intra-abdominal pressure, but voiding can also be initiated with straining. Let us look at the meaning of some of the terms. Normal average urine output is around 1500 milliliters per day. Oliguria, when the urine output is less than 500 ml per day. Polyuria, urine output more than 300,500 milliliters per day. Diabetes insipidus, tasteless, meaning less ADH leading to diabetes insipidus. Diabetes mellitus sugar in the urine so it appears sweet.